It's the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Jody Biasi of the Locked On Sabres podcast. ButcherBox has all you need for a tasty, stress-free holiday season. This Black Friday, your search for amazing deals on high-quality protein ends with ButcherBox. They're offering their best deal of the year. Choose your free steak for a year. Choose between two New York strip steaks, filet mignons, or ribeyes to get free in every box for a whole year when you join. Sign up today at ButcherBox.com slash NHL and use the code NHL to choose your free steak for a year and get $20 off. That's ButcherBox.com slash NHL. Use the code NHL to get this special Black Friday deal plus $20 off. We hope you had an excellent weekend and it's time to get real serious about your fantasy hockey squad. On the Monday episode of the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast, we're dropping all of the top waiver wire ads for the week that you need to be considering and taking a look at we Willie Nylander doing extra special things. Big time bets. Let's tap in and let's get this paper. Your Locked On Fantasy Hockey, your daily podcast on fantasy hockey. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back inside the lab to your source for fantasy hockey news and daily degenerate gambling breakdowns, the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. And thank you for making us your first listen every single day. Today's episode is brought to you by Sleeper. Download the Sleeper app and use promo code LOCKEDONNHL to get up to 100 bucks match on your first deposit. Terms and conditions apply. See Sleeper's terms of use for details. My goodness, Steele. This is just a treat right now. The NHL, the Global Series, I thought it was a big success. Lots of really good hockey. Clearly, the Swedish faithful on these teams show out for these games and William Nylander putting on an absolute dazzling show for the Maple Leafs. He has opened the season steal with 17 games straight with points. Let's talk a little bit about it. He's looking real good. He ties a Connor McDavid record. I want to talk about that, but of course, waiver wire Monday, this is bread and butter. I love some of the targets that you and I have been throwing around the last couple of weeks. I think they've really helped some GMs out there. That's what it's all about. We're also going to wrap the show with big time bets. We've been on a bit of a heater, haven't we, Steele? Let's keep that money train rolling. But right over to you, my friend, because honestly, watching William Nylander the last couple of games and all season long, really, all I can think of is pay that man his (laughs) money. Deservingly so. The darling of Stockholm himself, William Nylander, is probably the biggest superstar in Sweden right yep. now. Uh, you know, playing in front of his friends and family must have been an absolute joy uh, for him, especially the way that he was playing. Like you said, just pay the man his money at this point. 17 game point streak, tied for sixth, uh, sixth in goals, tied for fourth in points, second in shots so far this season. And this is exactly what Lee fans have been waiting for William Nylander for a long time. And, you know, we've all seen the talent and skill that he brings to the game, but we've wanted to see the work ethic. We needed to see a little bit more passion, improve on the little things around the ice. And now we're finally seeing him at full strength and, and, you know, in, you know, entering his prime right now, he's battling for the puck. He's not giving Mm -hmm. up on plays anymore, which we saw a few times, especially in the postseason when it matters more. And now he's actually adding more speed and more moves into his arsenal. That's slick. Uh, you know, a little toe drag back to the left side of him and then go around the defenseman is is mm. probably his favorite move so far this season. We've seen a couple of game winners uh, in some big performances in overtime. You know, he fought for a contract before. He settled on a number that he believed was below his value. And a lot of us didn't think that it was below his value. We thought it was a, you know, pretty decent contract mm. at the time, but it might be the most, it might be the best contract uh, when we look at all contracts across the league right now, and all that work is paying off for William Nylander, we are witnessing Nylander play at peak performance as he enters the prime stages of his career. He smells yeah. blood, he smells money, and he's mm. coming for it all. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he asks for $12 million on his next contract. And it's going to be very difficult to see mm. – what the future holds for for Nylander and the organization with the Leafs, but I, I really don't know what's going to happen because Matthews, Marner, and Tavares all have no no move clauses on their contracts, and the Leafs can't afford to pay Nylander that much, even though he clearly deserves it at this point. 
Brad Treliving is going to have to get very, very, very creative with this situation with the Toronto Maple Leafs for a few different reasons. But this is one of those good situations that you want to have. They'll figure it out, yeah. I think, with Willie. But my goodness, Steele, just watching this kid go the last couple of games, the way that he's able to change his pace, the way that he's able to use his size, and I know he's only six foot, but he is a solid frame on him, 200 plus pounds. The way he's able to use his body to shield the puck and really drive it to the net is what's impressed me. And I love to see the confidence. He's got patience. He's got poise. He's a smooth skater. And realistically, I know he's right there at the top of the league in shots with 74. That is a sneaky good wrister. And I seriously think if he shot more, the sky's the limit for this player right now. And clearly... He's feeling it. And there's something to be said about that mojo, that moxie, that good players get. Let's also not forget you talked about dollar signs. He's trying to see those dollar signs and in a big, big way. Just got to give a shout out to the hottest player in the NHL right now. He's right up there with the Quinn Hughes, Lias Pettersons of the world. He is red, red hot steel. We're trying to stay red hot with our bets at the end of the show, but we haven't missed very often with these waiver wire targets steel. I got a couple here that... All of my players today, I've got some honorable mentions that I'll get off at the end, but all of my players today that I'm looking at are young pieces of talent. So I think they're also very relevant if you're out there in that keeper dynasty side of things. Although if it's a deeper league, they're probably already snapped up. This is a guy steal that you pegged for a big season and a number two overall former draft pick in Quinton Byfield. Three goals, 11 assists in 16 games. We've talked all about what's going on in LA. They are an elite offensive team. They've been rolling over the last two weeks. Quinton Byfield, four points in his last five games. One goal, three assists. The ice time I'd like to see creep up a little bit more, but this is just what happens when you play on such a good team. But he's getting the shots on net as well. The last couple of games, four, three, three. He's got to shoot more. I really like Quinton Byfield a lot also playing on that top line in LA. I love him for a little bump this week, Steel. And lastly, 37% on Yahoo, 15% on ESPN, and the Kings this week, Arizona, Montreal, and Anaheim. Lots of goals coming for the Kings. Very advantageous schedule for the LA Kings, and you pretty much got to look at them the way you do with the uh, Vegas Golden Knights at this point. It seems like all players, doesn't matter where you find them, they are firing on all cylinders uh, up and down the lineup, especially in the top three lines. And you like how they can move uh, move players up and down the lineup, like we've talked about with Philip Deneau, Pierre-Luc Dubois, and a few of them. But Quentin Byfield obviously getting that magical place on the top line with Anze Kopitar and Adrian Kempe. So he's making yeah. the most of that opportunity. I've got a few young guys on this on this waiver wire targets for Monday as well. And I'm going to start off with J.J. Paterka of the Buffalo Sabres, mm -hmm. another young guy who is very, very promising. And I think this is where I – maybe made a mistake with my preseason prediction for the Buffalo Sabres going to the playoffs. Again, this is still a very, very young team, and they're still trying to figure out uh, where everyone lies into this roster lineup right now. But Paterka's, Paterka has been very solid so far this season. Seven goals, 12 points in 17 games. He gets it done on the on the second power uh, second power play unit as well. Uh, the peripherals are pretty good. Uh, forty three shots, forty three shots on net so far this season. Blocks and hits are you're not going to get much out of that, but he's shooting at a sixteen point three percentage right now. Forty three shots on net. He's got a power play goal, a couple of game winning goals, and again now with Tage Thompson out for a significant amount of time, the Buffalo Sabers are really going to depend on some of those younger guys to really provide offensively and then obviously uh, help out in the defensive zone and help out their rookie goaltender, Devin Levi. I think around them in the Atlantic steel also, there's just zero room for error. We've seen the pressure on teams like the Ottawa Senators to get it done to start. Tampa Bay Lightning have struggled at times. I just, we've talked about this at length. When teams like the Detroit Red Wings around them are getting this kind of talent around the lineup, hey, I know it's November, but we're creeping in December quick, Steel, and the margin for error is razor thin. We got a number of other waiver wire ads to get to. By the way, how stacked are the Sabres in terms of just awesome offensive young talent? <laughs> Seemingly, they can just plug and play with that. Anyway, big time bets at the end of the episode, but today's episode is brought to you by eBay Motors. Passion, drive, patience. 
What brings home the winning trophy is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. From superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back because with ebay motors you're burning rubber not cash and with all the parts you need at the prices you want it's easy to turn your car into the mvp that brings home that win keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com eligible items only exclusions apply ebay guaranteed fit only available to u.s customers this is david harrison of the locked on commanders podcast to draw your attention to the taste that's going down in the bread aisle all thanks to dave's killer bread bread amplified anyone can bake bread few can rock it and dave's killer bread is the champion of killer taste killer texture and is for those who want to rise above the boring organic and healthy doesn't have to mean boring when it's made with the highest quality organic and non-gmo ingredients packed with whole grains fiber and protein 21 whole grains and seeds bread has a subtle sweetness and a seed coated crust while good seed products are the boldest and sweetest of all Dave's Killer Bread was built on the belief that second chances can change lives because after spending 15 years in prison, not only did the guy with the guitar you see on every loaf turn his own life around, he's helping others to do the same. By hiring the best people for the job, regardless of their background, he's ensuring your mornings no longer taste like cardboard, your taste buds don't have to feel sedated, and your sandwiches can become superstars. Visit daveskillerbread.com to learn more and look for Dave's Killer Bread in the bread aisle of your favorite grocery store. And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. We got to tell you about this. Locked On has launched the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube. Locked On Sports Today is here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with local experts of Locked On. Plus, our national shows covering every single league. So go to Locked On Sports Today on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to the first ever national sports 24 7 streaming channel and thank you so much for making the locked on fantasy hockey podcast your first listen every single day make sure you hit the subscribe leave a follow and a five-star review we appreciate all that love and support you show us every single day and that's why we do this every monday with the waiver wire targets of the week to provide some inspiration with some of these players who are successful uh right now in fantasy hockey leagues i'll throw it back over to you flip who are you looking at next for the waiver wire target hey now steel Sometimes we stick to our guns on players. We highlight some of these fantasy pieces that we really, really like. We see on the come up, Seth Jarvis, a little up and down, but he's been pretty good this year. Another name you've heard out of my mouth perhaps the most is Cole Perfetti, and now he's finally getting it done in Winnipeg. He set a record for the Atlanta Winnipeg franchise as the youngest player aside from Patrick Line to score goals in five straight games. He's up to 14 points in 17 games this season, and he is barely scraping 14 minutes in ice time per night. Most interesting about his deployment right now, he's on that top power play in Winnipeg, and I've been watching way too much Winnipeg Jets hockey because I've been really liking them from a betting standpoint, Steel, and they've been winning games. So I really love what's going on in Winnipeg right now. 25% on Yahoo, 15% on ESPN. They play three times this week. A bit of a tough schedule. Tampa, Florida, Nashville. Not too, too bad. But I really, really think for a number of reasons, you should go out there and get yourself a piece of Cole Perfetti because finally... Injuries have gotten in the way of this player settling in. He's only 21 years old still, Steele. He is a stud. I think he is about to take off in a very big way. Yes, he is. And I think he's finally reached that potential. And you'd like to see uh, you know, him provide some offensive capability as well with the teammates and line mates that he's playing with, Nemesikov and Nikolai Ehlers as well. So great thing for the young kid in Winnipeg right now. I'm going to go to a little bit of a veteran. Uh, who's coming off, uh, you know, some serious injuries the last couple of years. And then all actually all of my waiver wire targets are under 30% right now. But I want to talk about Sean Couturier of the Philadelphia Flyers, rostered at 27% right now, four goals, 13 points in 15 games. He's on a four-game point streak. Um, and honestly, the Philadelphia Flyers, you know, they started off great in the month of October. They kind of 
uh, fell off the wagon there a little bit, but they've won four straight in a row now. They've got a pretty decent schedule, you know, a tough schedule, but they've been fighting, and Carter Hart's looked absolutely spectacular so far this season. Three games yes. this week, Carolina Hurricanes, Vegas Golden Knights, and the Columbus Blue Jackets, but Sean Couturier is one of those pieces that the Philadelphia Flyers were missing probably a lot of last season uh, actually the last two seasons, again, dealing with those injuries, you know, Cam Atkinson was dealing with an injury. He was out for the entire season last year. They've got those two veterans back and they're helping this young core and, and this Philadelphia Flyers organization kind of figure out where they are right now in the league. So Sean Couturier is, uh, Sean Couturier is a big reason for the success so far for the Flyers. And again, rostered at 27%. So go get a piece of the Flyers right now. I agree, Steele, on my honorable mention. However, the Flyers do play the, the Islanders twice this week, which is nice. And then they play the Islander or the Rangers, which is obviously tricky. But Carter Hart is one of those players that you know all the talent in the world to be a number one has been there. It just has the team around him, even giving him a realistic shot to get a win every single night. It hasn't been there until this season. Lots of really good young flyer pieces, though, Steel, including Owen Tippett who was in my honorable mention. He is owned at 75% on ESPN, but interestingly enough, only 42 on Yahoo. He was there on my honorable mentions. He's shooting the puck a ton and he's scoring. That was another one of those players that has impressed for me. By the way, Carter Hart is still getting it done and he's been injured the last little while, I believe, dealing with back spasms. So the fact that he was able to come in the other night, return like that and make really big saves for a Philadelphia club that's clearly a lot better. I love that you're highlighting this player. Very quickly for me, I'll ream off two other honorable mentions in Evander Kane and Wyatt Johnston. Wyatt Johnston, 39% on Yahoo, 34 on ESPN. On ESPN Steel, he's up 24% in the last seven days. This is a kid with all kinds of talent. Three games for Dallas. It is Vegas and the Rangers. So that's a little bit of a tricky one, but that was an honorable mention. And Evander Kane, the Oilers play four times this week. Washington, Anaheim, Florida, and Carolina. Aside from maybe Carolina, that's a really advantageous spot. However, owned at 78% on Yahoo, 64 on ESPN. That's why they make my honorable mentions, but I really do think Tippett, Johnston, and Kane are all some of those players that if you miss out on your top targets, they're a good secondary ad, just a little bit tougher weeks for all three. Definitely some tougher weeks moving forward, but Owen Tippett got to be highlighted as well. Uh, another young kid from the Philadelphia Flyers, again, trying to find his way in the NHL and trying to find uh, a mentor of some sorts to, to get him going. I've, I've got Eli Tol, uh, Tolvanen of the Seattle Kraken as my third player for this waiver wire targets is in this weekly matchup rostered at 30% right now. He's got 12 points in 19 games. He's on a three game point streak, all three of those assists, but it's really the peripheral stats I'm looking at for Ellie Tol Tolvin and right now, 38 sure. shots on net, 25 blocks, 38 hits. And he's doing this all under 16 minutes of average ice time so far this season. So the peripheral stats, again, we've talked about this, on some of these players out there in fantasy leagues, the peripherals really do continue to add up, even if they're not mm. scoring offensively. But you're getting the both of be the best of both worlds from Tolvin and right now. He's producing offensively. He's bringing the peripheral stats, and you'll love to see it. So he's been one of those mm. uh, great additions. Uh, and, and you know, especially if you got him late in the draft, it, it's a pretty good pick. And then again, if he's if he's out there on the waiver wire target, you got to go pick him up because he's providing a lot of those category category stats that you really need to win your weekly matchups. Seattle's been a bit of an enigma for me, Steele. It's hard yes, to put very a finger much so. on, you know, and look the other night looking real good. Eberly, I think had a three point performance again, 18 points. They're sitting smack dab in the middle of that uh, Pacific division. Just really hard for me to say what they are yet. Very much like the Calgary flames team that I want to talk about next with a couple of young players, but I really do think we haven't even seen the Seattle Kraken scratch the surface of what they've been doing. We know the strength of that team in a big way last year was their ability to run all four lines and their bottom six, you know, they lose Daniel Sprong. They lose Morgan geeky. There's a couple of those pieces that really were quite effective for them last year in that bottom six that gave the top six, their ability to do their thing thing i think that's a little bit of what you're seeing this year the inability to get all four lines going so let's see what happens the calgary flames need to get it going as well talk about them right after the break though seal because as much as we like to highlight players that are obvious trying to get these players that are under the radar as well can be really really key
yeah, we got a few more waiver wire targets before we get to big time bets. I got a couple of young studs from the Columbus Blue Jackets I want to talk about. And then we'll get over to big time bets. But this episode is also brought to you by the Sleeper app. A new NHL season brings all sorts of possibilities. Austin Matthews could score 50 goals. The New York Rangers could hoist the Stanley Cup. And you could win big by playing Daily Fantasy Hockey on Sleeper, the official Daily Fantasy app of the Locked On NHL Network. Sleeper is our number one choice for Daily Fantasy Sports and especially Daily Fantasy Hockey. Because with Sleeper, you can win 100 times your cash in Daily Fantasy Hockey contests. Fans can also play not just NHL, but fantasy, NFL, NBA, MLB, CFB on the Sleeper app. And the great group chat functionality keeps everybody connected with other fans. And Flip and I are doing that as well. Entries can be made under a minute. And all you got to do is pick on whether studs like McDavid, Ovechkin, Crosby, McKinnon, Matthews, and many more. If they will record more or less on their Sleeper projections for things like goals, assists, save, plus, minus, and more. To win a 100-time bet on Sleeper, you need to correctly predict the outcome of eight player stats. You heard me locked on fantasy hockey fans. You can win a 100 times your money playing daily fantasy hockey with Sleeper. So start paying attention and nail your pick so you can start winning big. Use promo code LOCKEDONNHL and you'll get up to a $100 match on your first deposit. Terms and conditions apply. That's code LOCKEDONNHL. See Sleeper terms of use for details and location availability. Hey everyone, Chris from Locked On Avalanche here. If you like using debit over credit, I just learned about something that's definitely a game changer. Discover Cashback Debit. It's a checking account that rewards everyone with cash back on everyday purchases, which means you can get cash back on NHL tickets or head-to-toe hockey gear to make this season a total win. Check out eligibility and terms at discover.com slash cashbackdebit. Discover Bank, member FDIC. And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, leave a follow, and a five-star review. We appreciate all that love and support you show us every single day, five days a week on the Locked On Podcast Network. And thank you so much for tuning in for today's episode. My last waiver wire target for this upcoming week, I'm going to two young studs, young guns on the Columbus Blue Jackets, Adam Fantilli and Kirill Marchenko, both Mm. rostered or close to 28% rostered right now on Yahoo. Nine points for Fantilli this year, nine points for Marchenko, and by far they have been the best two players or probably the best line for the (laughs) Columbus Blue Jackets so far this season. And it's been a real gong show for for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Patrick Laine was healthy, scratched. Last night in the game against the Philadelphia Flyers, Johnny Goudreau just scored his second goal of the season, which has been a long, 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 long time coming. But that second line of Fantilli, Marchenko, and uh, Voronkov has been really successful so far and has looked the best. And it's really, it's they are really, really close to breaking out and really starting uh, to produce offensively. Again, you're not getting much out of those, uh, you know, other superstar. I don't even know if I want to call them superstars because they haven't been in Johnny Goudreau and Patrick Line. Right. But those two players uh, on that second line of Adam Fantilli and Marchenko are out there. They're rosterable, and they've got a pretty advantageous week coming up or a decent schedule uh, this upcoming week. Chicago Blackhawks, New Jersey Devils, and the Carolina Hurricanes. Look, Steele, uh, the Columbus Blue Jackets, they benched Patrick Line and Johnny Goudreau the other night together simultaneous benching of your stars. Oh my goodness. What a mess this situation is for the Columbus blue jackets. Although I like that you're highlighting two of the brighter spots. And I really like this Marchenko kid. He's got some hands on him. Adam Fantilli. Obviously we see Connor Bedard doing his thing. They got a good one on their hands here in Columbus with Adam Fantilli. I like that you're digging into the trenches. You and I bring this up on the regular. It might not be easy looking at the Columbus Blue Jackets, but the schedule is pretty good. You've got to dig into the trenches and dig into the bottom of the bin sometimes for these players. Look, the Calgary Flames have also not exactly had a pretty start to this season, Steel. But hey, looking a little bit better over their last three or four. Creeping up out of the basement a little bit, up to 15 points. But realistically, what I was saying before about percentages and obviously players, I said Tippett, I said some of these guys that are much more owned out there. Connor Zary, 
and Mark Martin Pospisil on the Calgary Flames are two really young players that over the last couple of games, especially Pospisil, three goals, two assists, four pims, 21 shots on net. This kid throws his body around as well, Steele. 18 hits over the last five games. Some of these opportunities that are going to open up because of poor performances is also where you've got to strike. Three goals, five assists for Zeri, 24th overall. Next week, let me bring this up, by the way. They're both out there in all of your leagues. Next week, the Flames play four times. Seattle, Nashville, Colorado, and Dallas. I know Colorado and Dallas, okay. Both of those teams have been giving up a ton of goals. Calgary starting to figure it out a little bit. I like also serving up for you guys some options that aren't owned at nearly as much percentage, and they're out there to grab. I like both of what those players are doing. Body, Pims, Pospisil. Straight up points go Zeri, but I'm liking both of those young players still. Again, a few bright spots uh, for the Calgary Flames right now as they continue to figure out what the heck is going on in Calgary. Let's get over to big time bets, though, where the money is made. A big schedule for Monday night. Uh, how, how many games are on the board Monday night, Flip? Do you have we an exact seven. number? Seven games on the board for Monday night. I have got a same game parlay. I'm going back to the well here because it banged out last time, and I'm looking at that. Vancouver Canucks, San Jose Sharks matchup to end the night. And I've actually got three player props and we're going to have to talk about, this is going to have to be another conversation for another episode flip, Uh but first player prop, Elias Pettersson, anytime goal. The kid's been an absolute stud. Uh, You know, we talked about him, you know, when we first started doing this podcast, I said it would take a couple of years to fully be a superstar in the league and he is now a uh-huh. full superstar in the league oh yeah Patterson, anytime goal for the first player prop second player prop jt miller anytime assist i find it kind of funny how you throw quinn hughes and elias Pettersson in that hot streak hot players for the nhl so far this season but jt My miller bad. has to be thrown My in there bad. as well because he's at the top of the nhl in the stat leaderboard jt miller anytime assist is the second player prop and my lock of the night how can you not like this guy and what he's doing right it's actually crazy that a defenseman is at the top of the nhl uh, leaderboard right now quinn hughes 28 or 29 points leading the way he's getting it done offensively obviously a lot of power play assists but he's scoring goals too hughes over one and a half points in this matchup those are the three three pets for tonight like Hughes over one and a half is my lock of the night and how can you not i know the sharks have been a little bit better but the Canucks absolutely slapped them around 10-1 at the beginning of November. Maybe not that big of a deficit, but the, the Vancouver Canucks are going to have fun once again. Man, those Canucks are looking real good to start this season, Steel. And now it's not even about starting the season because we're into this deep into the second month. It's starting to look like this might be more of a prolonged thing for this team. And why not? When you're able to get elite level scoring from your top two lines, you got a blue liner in Quinn Hughes doing his thing, also looking real good with Philip Ronek. That's a really, really good pairing. And Thatcher Demko and Casey DeSmith have arguably one of been the most consistent duos in the NHL this season. You're going to be winning some games. I hope I win these bets. It's the same game parlay steal. I'll ream them off very, very quickly. The Colorado Avalanche head into the Nashville Predators as pretty solid favorites. Minus 160 on the money line. But when you look into the numbers, why aren't they more heavily favored? 8-0-2 in their last 10 against the Nashville Predators. The total has gone over the number in six of seven of Colorado's last uh, seven games. They are also a really, really good road team steal. 16-4 and in their last 20 And how about five of the last six games in Nashville have gone over the number? So Colorado on the money line. Give me the over six and a half. And you know who I got to go to here. The guy who's been paying off for me lately and Miko Rantanen. Come on now. 12 assists in 16 games. Let's go with the Rantanen. Anytime assist. I think it's going to be a high scoring game. One that favors the Avalanche. He had a goal and assist against Dallas. Big 6-3 win. They were they blew out the Anaheim Mighty Ducks the night before Steel. The offense is clicking again. I love this angle. That's a same game parlay that I'm really going to hammer. Avs, money line, over, and ranting in anytime assist. 
Two different same game parlays, but I love both of them heading into Monday night. Thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. And again, go check out Locked On. They have launched the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube. Locked On Sports Today is here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with local experts. Go check out uh, Locked On uh, Sports Today on YouTube and subscribe for the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel. Thank you again so much for tuning in for today's episode with Flip and I. Have a great day. Good luck with all your bets out there. And we shall see you back here again tomorrow. Peace. Buying tickets to see your favorite NHL team shouldn't be stressful. That's where game time comes in. Game time is the place for last minute ticket deals. Forget planning months in advance. Game time has deals on tickets right up to the day of the event. Get images of your seat before you buy so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. You can buy tickets in a matter of seconds, two taps, and you're set. Download the GameTime app, create an account, and use the code LOCKEDONNHL for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, redeem code LOCKEDONNHL for $20 off. Download GameTime today. Last-minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. Insure ons. Insure Ah, with three A's. It's time to let go of your insurance frustrations and experience insurance the way insurance should be with a brand as dependable as AAA. Visit AAA.com slash insurance for a quote on auto and home. The Monday edition of Locked On NHL is a must listen. Every Monday on Locked On NHL, host Gil Martin takes you to the three biggest NHL stories from the weekend's games with the local experts of the Locked On Podcast Network. No national fluff. You get the real story from the Locked On experts who are with the team every day. Put it on your calendar every Monday on Locked On NHL. Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day.